talk about how um, the Texas Instrument BA2 Plus calculator can be used uh, to do combinations and permutations. Combinations uh, tell us how many um, groups of uh, lower n of uh, of let's say um, lowercase n can be made of uppercase n. For example, how many combinations of two can be made out of five items? Let's say the five items are A, B, C, D, E. Uh, combinations of two that can be made are listed here. So if you count these combinations, you can see that there are 10. To use your TI BA2 plus calculator, you use the second function key and the plus sign. You can see above it is the NCR notation listed. Now N is the five in this example and R would be the, um, the two in this example. So the C represents combinations. So we will do, uh, we want to do out of five, compute second combination two. And if you hit equal, you'll see 10. So um, let's clear out. Now how about permutations? With permutations, of course, the order matters. So given the same number of items, groups of two that can be, um, that can be sorted uh, will be, of course, more because the order matters now. Here are the combinations. And because the order matters, we also have these uh, right here. Uh, so A, B, B, A, C, B, B, C. So that's how we uh, end up with 20. Let's do the permutations here. Again, our total number that we have to choose from is 5. Second function. Now I go to the negative sign because you see the P, NPR above it. That means permutations. So I do a five second function permutation two. Oops, I think I made a mistake in my entry. Okay, five second function permutation two equals, and that's where I get the 20. Now we can use this in uh, performing our computations for um, uh, the binomial distribution. Let's take this uh, calculation right here. This is from the solutions manual. Uh, we want to know the probability of exactly four um, observations or, or four um, successes out of a group of 20. So here we have the um, combination term for the binomial distribution. For this particular problem, P or the probability of success is 0 .5, 0 0.25 and the probability of failure is 0.75. And so we want to know what's the probability of exactly four successes out of a group of 20 trials. So to perform this ca calculation right here, we can use uh, our combination button to do this computation for this first term right here. So let me clear out. And um, the way we do this is we say 20 second function combination 4 equals. And 4,845 is the number of combinations. So that's this first term. You don't want to write this down right now because um, writing things down and then putting them back in your calculator introduces inaccuracy and you're going to make a mistake. So we, we're just going to use that term and just continue on out and do all of this calculation in, with one set of keystrokes. So we want to take that number, which is 4,845, and multiply it by this next term. So we do multiply. And now the next term, look at it. You need to open the parentheses, so we're going to open the parentheses. And inside the parentheses, I want to put 0.25 raised to the power of 4. Here's y to the x button raised to the power of 4. And now you want to close parentheses, and that term is done. 
Now if you hit equal, you don't need to, but if you hit equal at this point, what you see is the product of this first term multiplied by this second term right here. Now we want to continue on and we want to do multiplied by open parentheses point seven five raised to the power of sixteen close parentheses and at this point you have the point one eight nine seven if you click OK you get the point one eight nine seven which is the answer by the authors. Now, if you had set your calculator display to something lower or higher than that, meaning three decimals or five decimals, uh, then you might have a slightly different answer, but after rounding, you would get the same answer. Thank you.